Antares just dropped AutoTune 2026. This is their brand new model of AutoTune. It's lighter on the CPU. It's really easy to use and it sounds great. So today we're gonna have a quick look at it. I'm just gonna run through a song that I'm working on. Well, working on a song that I have made <laughs> with my vocals that are sung badly. And we're gonna play around with the settings and see how we can get it to sound. My name is Nick Rollo. I'm a producer and mixing engineer based in Perth, Australia. I've got millions and millions of streams under my belt. I've worked on hundreds of songs with many artists around the world. So hopefully, that is worth something. I don't know what it's worth. Doesn't matter. Let's get into it. I'll just play the chorus. Run, but you can't hide. Drive into the night. The traitors on the inside. Light the gas, it's a blind side. Run, but you can't hide. Oh, the drive, such a deep dive. There's a lot of things that are wrong with this. Um, it's pretty lazy, it's early days, so don't judge it too hard. This is the, the vocal, and right now it's got no processing at all except for a reverb and a delay, which I will mute. Run, but you can't hide. Drive into the night. So I'm gonna pull up Autotune, and this one is just called Autotune. It looks like this, looks lovely. So we've got low latency HQ. Right off the bat when I was using it, I did notice that like CPU wise, it was actually really tight. Um, older versions would kind of make a bigger dent, whereas this one, you know, it's like three. It's pretty solid. Like that's definitely good if your computer's gonna be battling a little bit. It's a new interface. There's like, it's missing a few features, which I'm kind of uncertain whether that's gonna like come back down the line or if Autotune Pro is still going to be Pro and then this is like the entry version. I'm kind of uncertain on that front. I'm sure I could figure it out. It doesn't really matter though because it sounds great. Before I start dialing it in, what I'm going to do is just pull up the chords. I'm going to grab Auto Key and then I'm going to press play. So it reckons F major or D minor. Let's just go send to Autotune. I'll keep this up. Uh, if you're in Studio One, you can also right click and go detect key signature, also pretty handy. But we'll go to the vocal and auto tune and it has sent F major across. So you can click up here and just kind of go through all the scales, you know, what kind of voice you are. You can auto detect this stuff. Maybe you can't auto detect the key. That's all right. Run, but you can't hide. Drive into the night. The traders on the inside light the gas, it's a blind side. So maybe it's not F major, let's try D minor. Run, but you can't hide. Drive into the night. The traders on the inside light the gas, it's a blind side. So there's obviously that little word towards the end that's not getting caught. I light, I light the gas, it's a blind side. Sometimes you gotta add in manually what like note needs to be in there, you know, for various reasons. Also whilst we're here, if you are interested in actually trying out any of the Autotune products, including Autotune 2026 or AutoKey or Harmony Engine, also great, there's a link below to get a free 30 day free trial. Um, I get a little cut back of that, but beyond that, there's no obligations. You can cancel if you don't enjoy it. I use these products all the time. So like they're really, really helpful. And if you're on the fence, just like the 30 day free trial is pretty sick. So yes, let's dial it in. The I'll, I'll just pull up the older auto tune so we can just have a quick look at the major differences. There's more settings kind of on the front end of things like you've got Retune, Flex, and Humanizer, all the same. It doesn't have natural vibrato, which I couldn't find in the settings. I think that is now a little bit more just like automated, um, potentially with the Flex tune and, you know, modern or classic. It doesn't have formant or transpose controls that I can see. It's got pitch tracking, which used to, which was up there. Um, that's just saying how sensitive it is to like external noise. It doesn't have like detune or a mix knob. Um, 
doesn't seem to have a graphical uh, graphical editor with like Melodyne kind of vibes. So it's kind of cleaner and I think that's probably going to be a winner for a lot of people. Like a lot of these features are really cool, but like you don't really need them unless like you're kind of really nerding out if you're just chucking it on for like vibes or a particular sound and you don't want to like fiddle with everything. Awesome. All right, so I've rambled for too long now. <laughs> Let's dial in the settings. Run, but you can't hide. Drive into the night. The traitors on the inside. Light the gas, it's a blind side. Run, but you can't hide. Oh, the drive's such a deep dive. Oh, there is actually the detune down here. Didn't catch it. Run, but you can't hide. Drive into the night. The traitors on the inside. Light the gas, it's a blind side. Run, but you can't hide. Oh, the drive's such a deep dive. The traitors by your side. That's getting better. I find with auto tune, personal preference, I like to push humanize and flex tune. I actually, I flex tune is kind of a sometimes humanize definitely. I like to get that more transparent feeling. I think if you want, you know, hyper process vocals, you'd probably be turning that down. Run, but you can't hide. Drive into the night. The traders on the inside light. The gas, it's a blind side. When it's at 100, that's like not really doing any auto tuning. So as this gets open, I guess it's just saying that it's just going to tune stuff that's like closer to the mark or closer to that bracket. Run, but you can't hide. Drive into the night. The traders on the inside light the gas, it's a blind side. Yeah, so you can hear it kind of basically getting more natural and not like going crazy wobbles and it's probably putting it closer to where it should be. So that's something that I like. I, I might be wrong on the specifics there, but like functionally, I think if I want more natural, what I'm going to be doing is getting a, getting a tune speed that feels good and then I'm going to start pushing up the human eyes and the flex tune until I'm not like catching too much of that sound unless I want that sound. Run, but you can't hide. Drive into the night. The traders on the inside. Let's just chuck on like auto tune vocal compressor whilst we're here. Try to get that kind of process on. Run, but you can't hide. Drive into the night. The traders on the inside. Light the gas, it's a blind side. Run, but you can't hide. Oh, the drive, such a deep dive. The trade is by your side. Don't look away, it's a blind side. Run, but you can't hide. Drive into the night. The trade is on the inside. Light the gas, it's a blind side. Run, but you can't hide. Drive into the night The traders on the inside Light the inside On 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 the inside Side. 
There you go. I find with auto tune and general, which is like vocal processing, Melodyne, auto tune, anything of that nature, you want to just use your ears. Like settings, kind of, in my opinion, don't really like, you know, what works for one song doesn't always work for the next. In saying that, there are a bunch of presets, which is kind of cool. You get some Z ones and other, you know, notable people. I don't tend to use presets for this stuff. I just kind of move it until my ears aren't getting bothered is kind of the vibe. If you push it too hard, it can be a pain. Sometimes that sounds good. Sometimes it doesn't. It really depends what you're going for. Yeah, very cool. I've been using it for the last few days. I've been enjoying it. And yeah, I'm keen to keep kind of playing around with it. I'm sure this won't be the last video on Autotune 2026. I hope you found this helpful. As I said, you can get access to a free 30-day trial of Autotune Unlimited, which covers everything. So if you type in Autotune over here, there is quite a lot of different plugins. Well, actually, it's easy. If I go to Antares, you can see all of their plugins here. So there's quite a lot. Really good stuff. I, As I said, I use it a lot. If you're using Studio One, there's a bunch of free Studio One presets. There's a Studio One course. There's a vocal mixing course. It's a little bit more global. You can check all of that in the description below. Hope you found this helpful. Hit like and I'll catch you later.